police officers all around your house. Any units gonna get into position? They need some cover here, Dunny. Smoke the door. We got a fire. This will be our next customer right here. Please! They decide to hurt themselves. Well, I want to see a search one. You're not going to, because there isn't one. Why you stop me? I mean, you drove up to it. You crashed. Right now, you're under arrest for being an idiot, OK? Do you mind? We don't need to be on the news. Most people that we're dealing with tonight are like yourself. You're very pro-police. This program contains actual police footage. No reporters, no recreations. We're just heading uh, to a report of a car in the ditch, but we've also found out that it turns out to be a vehicle that's left the road, entered uh, somebody's yard, and that the driver had fled. This is usually a traffic call, but we're going to go attend it since uh, they're busy out on other calls. Hi there. What's that? Okay. Try me. Close it. No skid marks, no nothing. Just hit the corner post, a little wood post here. Uh huh. Runs it through the guy's brick fence, which is all underneath the truck on the other side. Slides out the driver's side, takes off. Neighbor chases him down the schoolyard at 110, 146, and takes off to the bush. He's pulled his insurance out of the driver, or out of the glove box before he leaves. Mm -hmm. He's got a uh, moving violation ticket with his name and address and everything. Wonderful. What kind of a time delay are we looking at? Uh, probably about six minutes from the time they last saw the Okay. Uh, guy's got a description on it. Yeah. Okay. Sir, e one nine. Go ahead, one nine. Hi there. Do we see? Do we have a dog out? Yeah, he's tied up on south. Hi there. Good evening, sir. Do you live around here? I live in here, yeah. Okay, did you see the guy uh, take off from the vehicle? Yeah. Could you briefly uh, describe him to me? 5'10", 140 pounds. Mm -hmm. Blue, it looked like denim trousers and blue denim jacket. Uh-huh. Uh, bushy light brown hair. Didn't get a look at his face. I was just Didn't get a look at his face, back. eh? Okay. I him up to... 111th and 146th was a mm -hmm. school. He went into the schoolyard and then got into some woods. When he went into the woods, I went up and they're going in there after him. Okay, and you live up here, sir? Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, I'll, do, so I'll just take a look at the scene. I'll come back and talk to you again. Oh, sure. Okay, thanks. 18 copy or clear. Bravo 19, can I get a plate on that vehicle? 4 I've got 0857 X ray Tango. RO uh, of surname given one of Thomas, and I've got a street address in Maple Ridge. Apparently, he's supposedly wearing a uh, blue jeans, blue jacket. He's about 5'10, 140, and bushy brown hair. Constable Dillon's out with a male a few blocks from here. And there's a good possibility that he's the driver. So I've asked uh, him to take the individual down to us. That, yeah, that's quite an impact. That was quite an impact. Excuse me, I'll just... Uh, this one's fairly fresh. Negative. I've got the uh, document right here. Uh, how's the 29s negative? Do I copy correctly? 10-4. 29 is negative. Bravo 28 is clear. Shut up. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Way down. Way down. Way down. I don't think you can see this. Come on, see? Way down. Come on. Look at the way down in the corner. Look at it. You see it? 
They just missed the house. I didn't realize that thing missed the house. I was, I was coming along 108, eastbound, and I saw this guy in the middle of the road. He seemed to be intoxicated. And uh, when, I, when I stopped him, he said he's just going to use the phone because he's got a phone in an accident. So he's seen this accident, he said he witnessed it. But then he, he's on lithium too, he's, he's, on, uh, he's on a drug too, so we're not quite sure if he's if yeah, just made that story up or not. Knows it. But this is not the gentleman, eh? Because of my mom, mom, no, not this one, uh, yeah, right. she stayed beside the truck, no. That's okay. my neighbor, let me tell you. Ask the other neighbor, because he's run, I should go. Okay, he's, he's, pardon me? He's, he's absolutely, uh, he's absolutely unstable. He's absolutely unstable? Yeah, he's told me his name is Bruce Springsteen. Who is that? I don't know. Have you, you recognize? I box. I ran him. He comes back 29. Box 29. What? What is? What does he come back as? I, he's got an FPS serve since 85, but that's about it. That's probably not the one. Let's call this no. gentleman over here. Uh, it looks like him, but uh, I couldn't pick him out of line up. You know, like I never saw his face. It just looks like it could be him. It's the same general. Same general description. description? Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's just about the same age, same uh, hair color? Same same hair color, same general Possibly. build, but I never saw his face, so I don't know. Okay, but like, yeah. See, I found him on uh, 140th, which is eight blocks from here. There. Well, I chased the guy up to okay. 111th and 146. He cut through the school. Oh, he was at 146 by then, eh? Yeah, well, so I chased him all the way up there. He only well, had to walk six more. He went through the schoolyard. Now, when he cut into the woods, I went, that's it. I'm not going any further because I wasn't going to follow him into the woods. So he says you know? that he says that he was uh, only using the phone, but... Uh, the story well, has holes in it. As you say, he has the same general build and that, but uh, I never saw his face, so I couldn't okay. positively identify him. Okay. Right. Right. Go ahead, Raj. Call the Rose Res on your um, 78 Ford pickup. Wife says he's not home right now. She has no idea where he is. 10 4. Who answered, Raj? It was uh, his wife. So, uh, she doesn't suspect that the vehicle is being driven by uh, anyone other than the uh, respective RO? Uh, she doesn't know. Um, she said she just got home from work and he's not there and she doesn't know where he is. I take it we have the vehicle, do we? 10 4, we, the uh, vehicle uh, slammed into uh, the yard of a house and the driver fled. So chances are we're probably going to get this vehicle reported as stolen sometime later. Ten four, thanks, Raj. I pity the residents of uh, this house. They must have been uh, enjoying the quiet comfort of their home, and all of a sudden, bang! They have a monster like this that's chewed up their yard and uh, ruined their home. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, we might not be able to find a driver for this vehicle. And I know fairly shortly that this vehicle will probably be called in as stolen. The ICBC gets stuck with the bill. We have nobody charged. And uh, everybody ends up losing again. Okay. I'm trying to get
Just back up on the sidewalk. Up on the sidewalk. Up on the sidewalk. Oh, one more word. Right now, we're way too busy right now. Okay? How am I to we're get way home? too busy right now, okay? Just go stand back up on the sidewalk. How am I supposed to get home? I don't have any That's not my concern. Just get up on the sidewalk. Well, okay, we're gonna do uh, the one guy grabbed uh, PC's gun aid. Which guy in the side? The guy in the back. The guy in the side was uh, assaulting his uh, girlfriend. Okay. And uh, I was uh, I got involved and uh, he didn't want to uh, leave the area, and uh, he just started getting uh, violent. Okay, and towards one... Me. And then his, uh, his buddy got involved, and uh, then the wagon, uh, wagon showed up, and it, it just escalated from there. Okay, so there's two in custody then, or two in the wagon? There's uh, two males, one and female. female. Okay, thanks. The guy's going, hey, you pig, to him, and calling the bouncer a fat pig, and saying, I'll take you, and stuff like this and um, he's basically being abusive to everyone around him and his girlfriend's trying to come up to him saying no no it's okay he didn't do anything but everyone saw him throwing her against the wall and then the police showed up and he started hitting the police officer he, he lunged at the, at the police officer I couldn't believe it the guy's friends started coming out and um, the cop was kind of getting you know he was trying to keep his back away from all, all these friends of his that were sticking around, all the ladies were, well, girls were screaming, and the, the officer was all by himself, and um, he took out his stick and tried to contain the guy with his stick, and then the officer had to take out his mace, and then finally more police started to show up to give the guy a little bit of support, and the guy was just flipping out and kicking, and they finally got him contained and put in the paddy wagon, and that's all I know. Well, apparently the guy in the back went for the wagon driver's gun. No way. Yeah, that's what the big commotion was. That's why he called for cover. Oh, Because right. he tried to grab the wagon driver's gun when he got out to get, because the wagon was a second vehicle on the scene. No so. kidding. A complaint on boundary, some kind of dispute over driving, and two men are chasing after the two women. Well, this is the vehicle described in the complaint, uh, the Red Nova. There's no license plate on it, uh, temporary insurance. But as you can see, it's not in very good condition. The seat's been torn out. The seats aren't even fastened to anything. I don't know if it's stolen. The radio is not there. It's ripped out, so it might be stolen. Have a look at the serial number, see if we can get some more information from that. I just went around the corner, I got, I got mad because my husband's with another girl, okay? Yep. I'm really upset. So I took the car, my son, uh, do you mind? We don't need to be on the news. I don't need to be on the news, okay? Good, I'd rather go to Excuse me. Maybe you can tell us what happened here. Who's... Um, Sorry. Uh, the bend is 10, 10 for 20. I said get home. Now. Home. Get home. I already did. Huh? Yeah, good deal. Get home. Get home. Is this your mother? I said go home. What? What happened? My brother was driving the car on he was showing off the girl here and he just, he came around the corner here and he was saying, oh, well, you want to see the last results or something like that? And he was showing off here and then my mom grabbed the keys out of the car. Where's he gone? Is he gone? He's gone at the house. Has your mom been drinking tonight? Yeah, she had Yeah. Well, let's go up here and have a talk with, uh, with your brother, is it? Yeah. I guess there was one brother that was driving, the older brother. Yeah. Been drinking. Mother had an argument, tried to get him to stop. Vehicles over here, they live on the boundary, 36-30 boundary. She grabbed the keys to the keys the other brother took off and was at home. Yeah. Okay, so it was a dispute over him drinking and driving? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, he's home. Yeah. He's fine. Where are the keys to the car? Um, my mom. Yeah, she has. Them. Okay. So, uh, are these two going to be okay at home, or no, are they fighting? Fine. No, they're fine. The dispute was just over him taking Driving. the car, and he was intoxicated. Is that mm -hmm. it? Yes. Okay. Well, he's home now. Uh, exactly, it's fine. We'll see if we can get her home. Exactly. I'll that take should... home. I can take her home. Do. We can take her home. Okay. She's intoxicated. He's intoxicated. The two kids, uh, they only have a learner's uh, vehicle is blocking the laneway. So just tow the vehicle. We got the people inside. They're fine. Yeah. We, uh, she admitted to driving about uh, a block because she was upset for her husband. And uh, she got here, and the kids tried to stop her. And that's what we came in is somebody chasing somebody, and it was just the kids chasing her. And, uh, oh, yeah. Got no driving evidence, so she knows the car is going to be towed. She's gone home for the night. The car is going to be towed, and it'll prevent any continuation of any offense tonight. Good. That'll be it. Jeremy, it sounds like there's a fight going on here. Where? On 19th. Hey, there's a fight going on in 19th. Excuse me, officer. What's the problem? I was walking out here, and these people are calling me down. They knocked my smoke down my face. You just fanning? Your friend, are you okay. okay. Start smoking me for an hour. I'm Assault. There's no reason. What did I do to you? You started with my wife. You took a swing at her. Ask him. Okay, come over here. Hey, Let me you talk to you. Swing at her. Ask her. Get in here. Settle down. Settle down. Don't try knocking me out again. Okay, come on. Oh my God, this is unreal. You understand what's going on here? Like the lady's drunk. You want you, you want to be quiet for a second? Yes. Okay, tell me what happened. Sir? Yeah. I walked up here, okay? I seen these people. Yeah, man, yeah, this guy yeah. came out of here, he was kind of drunk, right? And these people started provoking him. They said, hey, you know, he's kind of drunk. And this guy tried picking a fight with him. This bitch clawed me in the eye, man. Oh, she's crazy. She grabbed my hair, man. Okay, she's do, you, oh, man. do you know her? Uh, no, he just came out. We were just, we were drinking oh, quite a bit inside. Oh, claw marks on my throat? And then she come out here. I'm young. I mean, did she okay. come out here and she started provoking everybody? She, you know, clawing everybody and shit. Uh, things have uh, calmed down now. Just trying to get the story from the people here. God, my hair hurts. It feels like I know bleeding. She can pulled my she hair too. Yanked my she hair. Yeah. Okay, so what? What? Body came out. What? What are you doing? I know. You did the what same the thing. Me, man. Do you, do you want to speak to me or not? Yes, I do. What are you doing here? I'm He's with at me. We're at a friend's house. A friend's house. Amazing. Yeah, and then yes. I come out here. Okay, I'm going to tell you the truth. Out. Can I Excuse talk to me. you for a second? Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Who, wants, who I, wants to tell? You I'll, want to talk I'll speak first? first. Okay. okay. There's a whole shit, a whole okay, shit. You, go, you go speak to these officers okay. over there. There's a whole bunch of shit happening out here. Everybody was yep. looking outside. Yeah. And then uh, we, we walked outside. I'm going home. Right across the street here. Right. My roommate, me and him, my roommate are supposed to go down to the bar. But uh, this lady comes out attacking me. Like, uh, no, I walked out. I said, hey, Harry Baldy, how are you doing? This guy's all hairy, right? I never threatened him in any way. I just said, hey, Harry Baldy, right? Joking around. And this lady jumped on me and just, hey, get out of here. And this guy with the glasses, green shirt, boom, 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 starts looking at What are you doing? I just dropped. What are you doing? I laid there. You guys got no power or whatever, right? Okay. Whatever. What happened? He took a swing at my wife. When he did, I hit him. Okay. That's exactly what I see. Did he hit your wife? No. He come very. He, when he swung, she ducked back. When he went for a swing, I automatically reacted. And when he went for the second one, I grabbed his arm and hit him. Why was? Why is he mad at you, at you guys? I don't because know. Because we were joking James, with James, the tenant that's in there. I don't know what apartment it is, but I can show you. I see minors go in there all the time. They're partying. He's feeding them booze left, right, and center all the time, and it's not right. I've got two teenagers, and it's not right. Okay, so you went into the suite? No, we no, were talking to him. Then these two macho decided to stuff it out to duke it out. They started at him, they started at me. Idiots. No, look at this. We're being made to look like criminals. Of course. Story. We're going to be looking like the f guilty no, ones. Those are going to get no, no. the f oh. murder. Listen. Yes, I'm mad. Listen. Mom, just going to We're being made to look like the goddamn criminals now because they're minors and because of the Young Offenders Act, they're going to get away with bloody blue murder. Thank you, Mom Rooney, whoever the hell's brought in the Young Offender Act. Sounds to me like 
like uh, these two guys are the instigators of the whole problem. Yeah. The fellow there uh, in the shorts that I was talking to said that he came up and they were just uh, yelling at everybody on the balcony and whatnot. And uh, they started pushing around with one of the women there. So he came up and broke that up. He says he never took a swing at anybody, but they were pushing him around. Yeah. He took the beer off the one kid because the kid told him he was underage drink. He's, uh, the guy in the green shirt says that this guy here took a swing at his wife, so that's why he yeah. j jumped him, basically. Yeah. But they're, they're being really uncooperative. Uh, Inside there? Yeah. Well, yeah. It, like I say, these guys are the, the basis of the problem, so the one kid there is, uh, well, he's not a kid, he's 18, but he's best and whatnot, so uh, we'll uh, take him back 43 Australia and give, give you the option on this guy. How much have you been drinking tonight? I had a few beers on my wife's place. We're supposed to go to a bar tonight and everything. Mm -hmm. I walked out, I swear to God, look at these scratches on my face. I swear to God. Okay. This lady attacked me from nowhere. I swear. Okay, we're getting different stories from them, okay? Of course we will, yeah. Okay. So, lady. there's not going to be any charges here tonight. I don't want to charge. charges. Okay. okay. Sure He's been drinking, yeah. you've been drinking, they haven't been drinking. Okay. Mean, um, to make sure nothing else happens here tonight, you're going to go in the, in the uh, drunk tank until you sober up, and so is he. Excuse me, officer. And when you're sober, you I can both sober. get out. How, how can I prove to you, officer? Well, you don't look sober uh, to me. Fine. Okay? Okay. What? From now on, I have to kill a person to get away with it? I said go to the guy. Yeah. You're harsh. <laughs> Oh, this is bad, man. I don't like this at all. I wonder I hate the justice system. I could do a night. I could do two nights. I could do three nights. Whatever. Throw me in for five nights, ten nights. You'll be in for a couple hours. A couple hours, yeah, right till morning, eh? A couple hours till all my friends are gone to the bar and out a good time. Picked up ladies. <laughs> For what? Walking out in some broad, smacking me, scratching my neck, and a guy punching me out without me doing nothing? I sat there and waited. He said, hit me, hit me, what What you got? The guy hit me, hit me, you know? God, you guys took a good story. He's got a good line. I gotta, I gotta know that line. I beat the f out of him to find that line. That's bullshit. Somebody a loser? Right? Am I a loser? To you guys, yeah, I'm a loser. Even though I'm going back to school and shit like that, I'm still a loser. To serve and protect, we'll be right back. We're just responding to a mental person at uh, the McDonald's on Main and Terminal. Apparently he's uh, freaking out and just flipping and just going totally crazy. So we're going to respond along with another one-man car and see what this guy's problem is. We're supposed to be right out front. Oh, there's our ambulance. Let's we'll take a little detour on the sidewalk so we don't screw up traffic too bad. You know what he looks like? Okay, we'll go take a look for him then. Apparently our friend here has decided to leave the McDonald's and uh, we'll have to follow the garbage trail to find him and the other unit will talk to the ambulance to find out what this guy's story is. Down from the 200 industrial Uh 3 Charlie 12, I have this party in the 1600 station. Yeah, after you try to call the ball away because this guy's crowing like a rooster. 10-4. Got to get a little camp here. I don't think I've seen this guy before. We'll just wait for the other unit to uh, come by just in case this guy does go a little wonky on us. Yeah, Ambulance has been advised of your new location. Bobby, thanks. Where is he? Can't you tell? Oh, nice. Have you, seen this guy? Have you seen him before? No. This guy's new to me. <laughs> we'll have to go see. Uh, I think he's going to break camp, actually. Yeah, I think so. What was he doing now? Uh, He's just throwing garbage all over the place. He broke a bunch of bottles on the road there, and there's just glass. Did he do anything to the McDonald's right now? No, no, no he's just going nuts. Well, you take the lead there, Beef. You got the better sense of humor. So. Hey, man, 
How's it going? Good. So? Pretty good. Vancouver Police. Uh, the information team for you. What area have you got set up here? I just got here. I thought you've been collecting for quite a while, it yeah, looks like. Yeah, all my stuff fell over the road. Oh, really? Yeah, they told me I was having a cough and everything fell over the road. Oh. So a guy started kicking it all over the street. Oh, really? So I couldn't go back for it. He told me to f*** off. So oh. I took off for it. Somebody spread some garbage all over the road. And they well, that, well, no, the guy, the guy spread garbage all over my road. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, he didn't let go. He started kicking me in the head. Oh, really? That's yeah. Not he bad. started kicking me right. No here, reason you know? at all. He did no, that. No, he started kicking me all over the feet. No, really? took off. Where did he go to? I don't know. They were driving in two cars. Two cars, eh? Yeah, I couldn't pick it up. Hey, can I get you to do a Oh, that's right. Okay. Do you have a criminal record at all, there, Wayne? Right. Mm, speeding ticket. Mm, speeding yeah, ticket, yeah, eh? Yeah, right, nine thirty eight. How long has your stuff been here, Wayne? Oh, this is all yours? Six months. This is all your stuff here? Yeah, about six months. Yeah. I have no problems here. At 938, just waiting for the arrow. Do you have any tattoos? No, I have one on my arm. What is it of? WP609. Whereabouts? I have it? a butterfly on my back. Oh, can we see that one? Yeah. Is it on your right forearm? Oh, I have to take off my jacket. Oh, let's see. You got quite a bit of jewelry around your neck, eh? Yeah, that stuff looks pretty hand. good. Uh, they call me Brick. Oh, they call you Rick? Yeah, Brick. Brick? Yeah. Oh. Why do they call you Brick? Because yeah, I'm the gold man. Oh, oh yeah, I got a lot gold of gold. Man. Got a yeah. lot of gold. That's what they say, yeah. They call you Mr. Where's T. Where's this tattoo here? Is it an invisible one? Yeah, it was kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Kind of, it's invisible, eh? Same one like that. Yeah, it's an invisible one. How do you bring it out? Like, what do you rub on your arm to get it out? Some, oh, geez, you dropped well, a spoon uh, there. You got the whole cooking set with well, you. Well, the guys start kicking my face, you know. Oh, Jesus. And the guy told him to phone the police, and he started kicking my face. That's right, Charlie. So I took off. And I am pretty here. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want my face to be on my stuff, you know. Oh, okay, well, this is what the deal is. Okay, we don't mind you set up shop and stuff here. I don't know how long the city's going to allow it here. They may come along with a big truck and take it all. But listen, if you want to hang out out here and do this kind of thing, I can't have you throwing garbage all over the place, okay? So if you start causing a bit of a problem, then we're going to have to deal with the problem, okay? Right now, we're going to give you a warning about it. Sure. But if I have to come back, and we're on for the next week, if we have to come back and deal with you, It'll be right to jail, okay? And I said he didn't say any moment. Sure, I don't mind jail. I've been to jail. Right? You've been to jail, eh? I don't well, I like Stony Mountains. Nice. Stony Mountains. Stony Mountains, Mountains big, nice. It's not what we think it is, anyway. It looks like it. I applied my uh, grass. It's oregano. Oregano. Are you a cook there, uh, Wayne? Yeah, uh, I cook pickles. What's your best dish? Ukrainian uh, dumplings. Yeah? Can't for all. Cool. Diapers. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to play with you all day. So I'm going to run oh, this name. That was their fault, not mine. They start throwing everything off. Okay, listen, I'm not going to play with you here with your name. That was okay, it, man. If it's not your real name when it comes back oh, this, this time, we'll go to jail and you can sit up there for a few oh, hours and think about your name. It's up to the judge, not me. Well, no, it's up to me right now. Oh, and that's what I'm going to do. The one that sits in the seat. That's right. Oh. He's not in the seat right now, though. Well, he's there 24 hours a day. Well, the closure of the mental institutions, you see a lot more of this happening nowadays. They're not getting the help that they want, and what they do is just uh, cause a lot of problems out here that we really can't control for the most part, because there's not a heck of a lot you can do with somebody like this. You can section them, they can get uh, evaluated, but uh, within 24 hours, their chances are they're going to be back on the street again, and they don't get the help that they really need, which is rather unfortunate, because you really can't blame him for what he's doing right now, because he doesn't have a heck of a lot of control over what he's doing. You won't need the, uh, the whiskey tonight, though. If he has this stuff, he's really going to lose it tonight. So we'll have to uh, get rid of his alcohol for him. We don't have to deal with you again tonight, so you take it easy. Take care. Okay? If you need any help uh, getting this stuff home, you let us know, okay? And we'll see what we can do for you. Oh, yeah? Where's your truck? In my, my canopy, where the lights are there. Oh. Like way over there? Yeah, up in the hill there. Cross Mountain. Oh, you're going to have a bit of a trek to get up there and get it. No, it's all my properties already there. Okay. All right, Wayne, well, you have a good uh, good night there, eh? You take care. Try to stay out of trouble. Primarily, the uh, sergeant's function is that uh, he is responsible for a geographic area of the city where I am with the northeast part of the city. 
And uh, with that uh, comes uh, the responsibility of attending all emergencies, uh, supervising the manpower deployed in that area, uh, monitoring the call load, uh, being of assistance to any of the uh, junior members that uh, need questions answered, um, policy, law, procedures, uh, ultimately responsible for what uh, transpires in that area and how it is uh, handled. I have a lot of memories with the city. I've uh, been a police officer here 25 years. It's changed a lot in my time. Uh, when I started as a young police officer, Gastown wasn't here. These were mostly old burned out hulks of buildings and abandoned warehouses and this sort of thing. Uh, the city's uh, been a good place to work. Uh, it's a beautiful city. And uh, like any other city, it's got its problems, but uh, I don't think we have them as bad as, uh, as uh, some others I could name. Uh, I've enjoyed working here, and uh, I'll always feel part of Vancouver. Three Charlie 5 1. Apparently, it's the third hand information now. Someone ran into the Midas muffler, told the staff there that there was somebody running around with hoods on inside and out of that premise. And that party's left. First two units report a block away. I want at least two units responding to this before they move in. 10 4. I've got 3 Charlie 12 and 4 Charlie 11 and Bravo 6 3 on route. We're responding to a suspicious circumstance at a commercial premise that's supposedly open that uh, somebody has phoned in and said that there's people with hoods on running in and out of the place. Uh, this could be almost anything, so we have to be prepared for every eventuality. I wonder if she knows what you're supposed to do with them. Three Charlie 5 1. Three Charlie 5 1. I'm behind 3 Charlie 12 and I can see the wagon. We'll move in now. Let's go. Yep, four. There's a male in black outside of that uh, warehouse business. 3 Charlie 5 1, we're all 1023. Make sure everything's cool. Sure. Yeah, cool. Is the manager here? Did you get him off the phone and ask him to come out here, please? Through Charlie 5 1. Charlie 5 1. Everything appears normal. I'm just going to talk to the manager now. Somebody phoned in and said that saw a bunch of guys running around with hoods on inside this shop. That's a report of the people I was just talking to. Okay. Grayson's tire. Grayson's tire. Where is it? Camden in the dust room. If you can't uh, get a hold of the I.O., uh, could you send a priority record here to the rear of the I.O.? 3 Charlie 5 1. 5 1. Apparently, it's Grayson's tire that this may be occurring on, on Main Street, just down the end of the block. We'll be uh, going down there. Everything checks out at this address. 213. 13. Cross to the administration. 10 4. And 5 1. 213's on scene out front there now. At 10 4. I'm 1023 as well. 10 4. 4 Charlie 11 to Grayson as well. 10 4. 10 4. Is Dale here? No, he's not. Somebody's phoned in and said that there was guys running around with hoods in National Tire and then here. Oh, yeah, they were in a. Red Mustang. And where were they? Yes. Driving up and down here, then they went up that way. Three Charlie five one. I have mass used jumped into a car and we'll try to get a description. Three Charlie five one. Go ahead. Yeah, I was talking to one of the employees here and they uh, left south on Main in a red Mustang and that uh, they were wearing ski masks. Uh, that's apparently the all of this originated. All the units involved here are ten eight. And would you let District 3 know that uh, that red Mustang was last seen headed their way? Sometimes these calls aren't exactly as uh, they're relayed to us, and uh, you really don't know what you have till you get there. People panic, and uh, no two witnesses see the same thing. So by the time we respond and try and put everything together, uh, the stories change drastically.
Uh, in this instance, we didn't even have the right location. Yeah, thanks, and we'll meet that unit behind Breeze and Tire then. What will happen now is that... That's what I am, I can't see it. ...is that uh, a report will be taken from the witnesses uh, describing all the events as they occurred and who responded and what the eventual outcome was. And a copy of that report will be sent up to our detective office for uh, for their information. They uh, they may be involved in a, an incident in Richmond or in the suburbs somewhere else or even in Vancouver that we're not aware of at this time and might just be a, a missing link in the investigation. So. We try and provide all the information of anything that may be of value yeah, for our follow-up investigators. Three Charlie five one. Charlie five one. Looks like we need an emergency EHS in front of the Brandies. Somebody's going into a seizure. Apparently, I've just been flagged down. Yeah, for it. All right, you're gonna be all right. Yeah. Got an ambulance coming. Just sit down, okay? Just sit down. Just lay him well, down there. Doing the bark. Uh, just stay there. What happened to him? Did he just fall or what? I don't know. I just got out here. Okay. Yeah. Just stay down. Okay, just lay down, sport. Did you take anything? Huh? Have you been no. taking anything? Would you fall? Huh? What happened to you? Uh, the Brandy's 122 stations where the victim was going to be waiting in the lobby. We got the call at quarter to two. Hi, how are you? You haven't been taking any uh, bad coke or anything, eh? No, no drugs at all. Well, the ambulance is going to come and patch you up. Looks to me like somebody smacked you, but you say you fell, eh? Well, I'll take your word for it. I'm solid. I'm the solidest guy I know. No, I just had my jaw f***ing uh, wired up yesterday. Or, uh, When I, when I got here, he was sort of funny, and his eyes were all funny, and that. he's sort of come around from that now, but he's got a pretty good whack there, eh? Did he get smoked at all, or did he fall? Oh, he says he fell, but his eyes were all wonky, and he was sort of losing it. I thought he was going to lose consciousness. Anybody witness the seizure, actually? Uh, the guy across the street stopped me and said he's going into seizure. When I got here, he, he was just, he wasn't unconscious, but started showing shine, signs that he could possibly go that way. Okay, any idea how long he was seizing for? He's not too cooperative. Eh? I think he got smacked, but he was, says he fell. Well, they'll take him up to the hospital and patch him up and see what he needs and uh, then release him probably. Unless he's required for further examination, but I doubt it. He'll probably be back down here in a couple hours. Gentleman wishes to speak with you. He does now? Something he has to tell you. Okay. Okay. The bartender, I went in there because some guys were trying to rob me. I went in there, I was screaming, bartender, call the police, call the police. I was holding on to furniture, everything. And uh, he wouldn't call the police. He's dragging me out. They were dragging me out. The bartender hit me, uh, dragging me out. You're going to get robbed. That's your own problem. He even took 40 bucks out of my the, pocket. The, the bartender took the 40? Waiter, yeah. The waiter took 40 bucks out of my pocket, kept beating me and dragging me outside so the guys could finish robbing me. Okay. Do you know who the guys were? I know I could identify this. Okay, person. we'll come up to the hospital and you see you. You've got to go to the bar. Yeah, we will. And ask the bartenders. Yeah, we will. We'll be up to the hospital and see you. St. Paul's? No, no, you've got to go in there. Man. Yeah, we will. Now he's uh, decided to report it as a robbery, so I'll call another unit and we'll follow it up from there. We'll need a wagon. Bravo 6 3. Go ahead. It's Maiden Hastings, I'll find out what corner. 3 Charlie 7 1. 3 Charlie 5 1. 5 1. I'll require 3 Charlie 7 1 here at the Brandies. This is a robbery. Stand for it. Okay, we've got a guy here who was down, bleeding badly, cuts to his face. But first, he says that he fell down. In the back of the ambulance, he tells me that two guys beat him up inside the Brandies. He asks the bartender to give him help. The bartender says, You're going to get robbed at your own fault. 
Okay. So now we're going to go in and talk to the bartender. Okay. I don't. I don't know which one it was. Uh, so you'll you'll have to talk to him at the hospital after. But we'll go in and uh, and uh, lay the law down to the bartender and see if we can get anything out of him. Okay. Three Charlie Eleven. Charlie Two One. Charlie Two One. Apparently our victim ran into the place and was hiding in there. He was after uh, being chased by two other guys. Uh, the waiter asked them to leave. They left and then they got into an altercation out front. The bar staff, uh, the other bar staff support what the waiter has said, so we've got no reason to doubt it at this time. Uh, these two officers will be following it up. They will uh, go up to the hospital and interview the uh, victim and see if we can get any more out of him or some more semblance of the truth anyway. We just have been advisors, uh, I believe, uh, MVA at uh, 92nd and uh, King George. We're just going to slide by there and uh, see what we got. We were just called in by uh, Delta 25, who was at scene as well. Looks like a pretty serious accident here. Uh, over here we have uh, Constable Miller. He's, uh, he's one of our tra series traffic analysts. Uh, looks like they're measuring skid marks. Here, uh, they got a nice mark going right down from here, as, as you can see right from the back of the flashlight, where the flashlight is, all the way up to where the other police cars are up. We'll just go up there and have a look. As you can see, there's the wreckage toward, to the right where the fireman is right now. And the skid marks are on going from back where that flashlight is. You can see here, he's taken out a pole, a light pole that was here. It's laying across the road now. Here's the skid marks here. 24 clear. And we'll just stay to the side of this. Alright. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of momentum to keep going. And you can see the nice gouge in the pavement there. Nice deep gouge, broken concrete along the curb line here. And this is where he uh, hit the grass here. And holy smokes, that's what's left of the car there. Sounds like a car, car coming along and cut, cut one off. Uh huh. Back down there, and then they coming through here. They caught one or two of those light poles. Uh huh. Slipped in there. When we got here, the ambulance was taking a couple away. The guys, okay. take the so I'm not sure what the extent of the injuries are. Okay. What kind of vehicle is that? That's a good question. I'm not sure right now. I didn't get getting close there. They were working on it. As you can see, there was uh, a Bonanza Motel sign that was destroyed in the process, which I believe was back there. That's been uprooted, and you can see where, where the actual sign was. First indication, uh, there was, uh, it indicates that uh, the vehicle here was uh, traveling at uh, relative high speed coming down the King George southbound. Um, was apparently cut off by another vehicle, started to swerve, took out a lamppost, and uh, rolled uh, two or three times. People uh, were taken to hospital, undetermined injuries right now, we're still investigating that. And uh, looks as though uh, speed is definitely a factor here. See the luckiest guys in the world to get out of this one. The walk out okay? Yeah. Oh, did they? Yeah. No injuries? Oh, it's slight injuries. Okay. Uh, maybe a broken arm, maybe. And cut, cut on his arm, the other guy's limping. But... Uh-huh. No alcohol, eh? I don't know. I haven't seen any laying around. Okay. As you can see, that's the back, uh, part of the back hatchback. The fin, you could say. The tail. Front tire. It's from the front and left side. That's probably where it hit the concrete as well. Back on the curb. As you can see, debris, debris all over from right back here, right up to that police car. Here's a second Bonanza sign that was taken out. You can see the steel. It's a steel sign embedded right into the ground and ripped right out. Uh, missed the phone booth just by, inch, by a feet or two. Uh, after speaking to a couple of traffic members, it's quite obvious that speed was a factor in this situation and that this vehicle may have been cut off 
which uh, guy had swerved and lost control. Uh, there's three males in the vehicle. Uh, apparently they all walked out, uh, no serious injuries. Maybe a broken arm for one fellow. But other than that, it's not too serious, no serious injuries to the individuals. Very lucky. People figure if they speed a little here and speed a little there, it's okay and they get away with it. However, speed was a factor in this situation and uh, people take their time, leave five, ten minutes earlier to where they're going, you know. It's a lot safer and you don't get into messes like this.